I was reached out by this uh, this company called Vici Eyewear, and the original email they talked about like potentially designing a line of glasses with them and I was like I'm not like a fashion person I really don't know and I haven't tried your glasses so I don't know like the quality and like we'll send you a pair of glasses to try and you can let us know like what you think if you like them then um, you know you can review them and be an affiliate and yada 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 well I got my first pair of progressive lenses this week so here I'm going to show them to you um, this is the Cincia frame and I've had them for three days now. They're very lightweight. I know that the light, the light is going to totally be, ugh, I don't know if I can make the light go away. That's a, that's a, see, that's a magnifying light. <laughs> and I, it's one of those ones where you flip the, 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 the part open, you flip the top open, and then I can like read paint labels and stuff before I got my, my other glasses, which are bifocals, because I didn't know what to get when I was at the eye doctor. I was like, do I get reading glasses? Because they said you could stay with your single visions if you want, because you're, you know, you're just starting to venture into bifocal area. Um, but I'm like, I'm having a hard time painting, uh, seeing detail, I'm having a hard time reading, um, unless it's really, really bright. Like if I'm outside sitting on, you know, the deck, that's not a problem. I could read without my glasses, fine. But it's, if I don't have, like, even in here, with all the studio lights I have, it's not bright enough for me to like really see crisply close up. So um, I hemmed and hawed and I ended up getting bifocals for my eye doctor. And they were great for close up and they're great for distance. Very, very clear either situation. But if I'm looking at my computer or, um, you know, just general, like looking at a mid focal range, they were not the best. And I always felt like, I was trying to find the right spot in my glasses to look like, and if I was reading a book, right, I, I would feel like I need to move my head up so I'm always looking through the right part of my glasses. Not a big deal when I'm sitting and painting, and obviously not a big deal if I was like driving or looking far away. Um, but that was just kind of, it was kind of a little irritating, and also the glasses were a little bit heavy because there was some like, I don't know, these are my, these are my other frames, and uh, I showed them to you when I first got them. But anyways, I put these on, I got them three days ago, and they were very comfortable, and I didn't notice that, like, I, I thought I might feel a little nauseous, that's why I didn't get progressives to begin with, and also they were like twice the price. Um, but I was worried about feeling nauseous wearing them, and they say you take a long time to get used to, and some people never can get used to them, and if you have astigmatism it can be hard to get used to them, so I was nervous about that, and I went kind of the safe route. Um, but, uh, but they sent these to me and they're very comfortable to wear. They almost feel like single vision glasses, except when I look closely, I can see detail, which is really nice. I find when I'm reading, because often I read on my phone or a tablet, um, I don't have to move my head around so much. That mid-range, like if I'm holding my tablet, like I usually hold it like that, I don't have to keep moving my head around to have things in focus. That said, I will say that with my, um, with my bifocals, I am, I, it is clearer at a distance and it's maybe, it's a, maybe a little bit, a little bit clearer close up when I'm like just still like painting and looking at one small area. So I think overall the progressives feel kind of like, um, the comfortable jeans and t-shirt type of glasses. You, know, you can wear them for most things. Um, they're easy to drive with. I, I didn't get the weird thing going up the stairs. People said going up and down stairs, that could be a problem, but maybe because I was already used to the bifocals that it wasn't a big deal. Um, so I didn't have any like any nausea. My eyes were a little bit tired by the end of the day, but I'm only day, th this is day three or day four. Day, I think this is my, this is day four. I've had them I had them for three days, but only two full days. But the end of the end of those two full days, I did notice my eyes were a bit tired. But it was also like like an hour before bedtime, so I didn't couldn't really chalk that up to the glasses. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I'm finding them very comfortable. I don't feel like it's hard to know where to look through my lenses. They feel like my eyes. You know, they feel they kind of feel like single vision, um, but with just a little bit more amplification on the bottom, and it's easier to read the computer screen with them. Further far away. Bifocals are still a little bit crisper, and I would say if I'm gonna be sitting and painting and looking at something close up for a long time in the same area, like something like this, where it's small, I did paint these with these new glasses on, but um, if I was doing that, probably the bifocals would be a little bit crisper 
where I'm being stationary, but moving around, moving my head around, being active, I think these are much better. I think these are going to be much better for playing like pickleball or anything like that where, you know, you've got to look all over the place. So, um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, they are cheaper than what you've paid your eye doctor, but they're more expensive than some other online sellers. So, um, you know, you can check it out. I didn't know you could get progressives online, honestly. Um, I don't know if you always could because it seemed like people would, it seemed like when I was first buying lenses online and I would tell my friends, they'd be like, oh, I wear progressives, I can't get progressives online. Um, so I don't know if it's new that you can buy progressive lenses online or um, or what, but, um, but this was really easy. I just sent them my prescription. Um, there's a try on tool that you like look at your phone and it like has you turn your head, it has you center your head in like a box. And as you turn your head and it takes a picture while you're doing that and then um, you hold like a like any sort of plastic card like an old gift card or you know something like that. I wouldn't use a credit card just because it takes your picture but I just use an old gift card. I put it, You put that up against your head and it uses that I think to like figure out how big your head is so when you try on the glasses it'll be the right size. Uh, so it was really easy to try in a bunch of different frames. I went with a Cynthia frame because I like daintier frames. They do, they're a little darker in person than they were on the, um, on the screen though, because like if I hold these to the light, I can see like the clear and black stripe pattern in there, but it kind of like, you can't really see it when, um, when they're on your face, I think, because your face blocks the light that would go through the clear parts of the glasses. But anyway, they have a lot to choose from. Um, I went with a dainty or cat's eye type frame. I wanted big lenses though, because I feel like, I feel like I need more area to see out of. I don't know, um, but uh, but this is great because I was able to like like look at my phone and watch TV. I do that at night. I'll be like scrolling um, on my phone through comments and responding to comments and stuff while I'm watching TV, and I can look back and forth, and it wasn't like jarring or it was very easy to focus. Um, keep in mind, I am new to progressives. I am new to uh, multifocal lenses in general. Um, it's just been the last couple of years where I've had difficulty seeing close up. So, um, so my prescription isn't the strongest in the world, but, um, but they did a good job with these and I didn't know how to get, there was something you had to give them a measurement called segment height. And I, apparently there's an app you can download for Apple that will measure that for you, but I don't have an Apple phone. I have an Android. So they just had me send a picture of my face with glasses on to them and they were able to measure it and they got it right. Everything is very comfortable and very easy to use. So um, who knew you could order progressives online, but I will put a link to Vici Eyewear in the video description to the frames that I have. And um, yeah, you could check them out. They did give me a discount code to share. So I'll put that there too for 15% off. And I think it's good for a month. So if you are in the mood, in the mood, <laughs> if you're in the market for glasses, you can go check that out and save some cash over what you would pay at the eye doctor. And um, and they also obviously single vision glasses as well. They even have these um, makeup readers. So they're reading glasses, but there's only one glass. But like, so you put your mascara on and you get the reading glass right here, then you flip it over and you put your mascara on the other side. So if you struggle with putting on your makeup because you need reading glasses up close like that, then that could help. I'm not there yet. Um, plus I've, I've never been able to find reading glasses over the counter that fit my eyesight because I have a prescription and I have astigmatism and um, my eyes are different. Like the prescription is the same in both eyes. So I uh, sadly have to go the prescription route, but you know, at least there's good options out there. So. There is that. Uh, that was something neat. I didn't know uh, what progressives would be like. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with them.